aircraft's thrusters were deactivated by sudden EMP discharge from a nearby damaged power. in Santa Domingo. The emergency landing attempt proved unsuccessful. The passengers who survived the crash landing were met by a band of nomads. my way. Phew. Thanks. That's good to hear. Give me a little more intel. What's your grief? Well, it uh, would be better Let to... Let me guess. Saul, right? You know me well. Uh-huh. See you soon. will stay here in camp. I v, you're here. What is he doing here? I forbade you from even breathing on that Militech convoy, so you call in your friend? To do it all behind my back? Is that it? Uh-huh. That's exactly why I had V come and stand right in front of you. Do you think You I'm really think you can forbid Pan Am from doing anything? Trust me, no point. She'll do whatever she wants. No, she won't. Not if she plans to stay in this family. Damn it to hell, Saul. Are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But a chance like this. A chance at Wow. What? Seems a lot changed while I was away. No. Nothing has changed at all. The Biotechnica people will be here in an hour. Try not to cock anything else up before then. I can't believe it. Look, there he goes, off to paint the grass green. What's this basilisk nonsense? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer. Junk from back in 2060 or so. They want to pedal it off to a backwards country, somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. The Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Shame not to say hello. Is this basilisk worth another fight with Saul? Yes, a craft like that would finally put us back on the right path. The family is falling apart. If we fall into this Biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. Okay, so you do want to go behind Saul's back, and drag me here specifically for that. How are you? Cassidy, Ted, Carol, and Bob, also on board. Precisely. And you plan to grab the Basilisk how? Thanks, V. Haven't said I'd help just yet. Okay, let's go talk to the rest.
So, just the four vets on board with the plan. Nobody else? We didn't bother asking the others. There was too great a risk someone would take it to Saul. Besides, only the vets understand what we have to gain by having a basilisk. Sounds pretty risky to me. On the contrary, easy as pie. There won't even be much security on the convoy. Plus, we'll be doing our part towards furthering the cause of world peace. Why should this beast wind up being used in some little third world skirmish? We'll make better use of it right here in America. Did you try to get Saul on board again? No luck, huh? No. Okay, everyone listen. Militech will transport the Basilisk in parts distributed across two trucks. Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you! The convoy will halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. We'll attack from behind, then get the hell out and away. Questions? Comments? Motions? Nice job, Sunshine. It's all too... easy. Convenient to arrange. The exact tech you need coming your way almost served on a silver platter. Yes, Saul also claimed it stinks to high heaven. Intel on the convoy, where'd you get it? Carol hacked the Militech comms channel. Is that enough for you? Okay, I'm in. Hmm, okay, thanks. First, we'll ride to the station. The train engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? Riding with you. Excellent. Let's get going. I heard a little shake in that voice. You did not. Ah, uh, come on. Did you get your hands clammy too? Screw you. But are you sure you didn't leave any tracks? Militech won't notice a thing. Are you trying to insult me, Bobby? Okay, okay. Forget I even asked. Let's go. Nobody's gonna notice you gone back at camp? Saul has no wish to see us there anyway. The better to make a good second impression on the Biotechnica suits. Your sour faces wouldn't help much. Indeed they would not. The Raffins, what about them? Expecting any trouble? Saul is. He's posted sentries all around the camp. How's that not right? He's wrong in continuing to fight the symptoms rather than the disease. You don't miss life in Night City? At times, perhaps. I miss the feeling of having a new beginning. Of freedom. But I also haven't forgotten the emptiness. The feeling of realizing it means nothing if you're alone. Had a hard time leaving my family, too. I was never completely alone, either had someone? A true friend. Jackie by name. You would have liked him, actually. Jackie? I remember that. We have arrived. Big bastard. 
If you like it so much, maybe we should just hijack the train. Let the basilisk go on its way. Yeah, then just drive this beast to the 101. There and back. Sol would be on board with that. Are we ready? Okay. The Militech convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. V, any questions? Seems to be a lot of abandoned stations around. This one belonged to a corporation that ran a cement factory. They used it as their reloading point. They didn't take the train engine when they left? The engine's been here going on 40 years. Since the Blackwall days. For a time, everybody had to go back to the old ways. This engine ran on nuclear. Like submarines do. All the weirder they left it behind. Corpse. They probably listed it in a spreadsheet as cost optimization. It's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. Then I'll somehow have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. Tower looks inactive to me too. Yeah, we'll see to that. You and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Okay, let's get to work. Need a hand? Of course, but in your shoes, I would look for another way in first. was quick. I've always been fond of trains, and the stations where so many tracks converge. <laughs> Junctions. Yes, those. When you see them from above, you feel... Free. Like you could set off on a thousand journeys all at once. Perhaps more simply, hopeful. Okay, here we are. Sure thing. Nada. Hmm. Well, well, well.
Got something. Good job. Carol! We have a card! What now? You have to put it in the reader! Well, V? The card. In the reader? <sighs> Here goes nothing. Little engine that could. V, I wanted to speak with you. You're happier out here. You can smell it a mile off. Surely you joke. I'm about to put my family at risk, get a dressing down from Saul, and possibly be kicked out of the family. And you say I seem happy? Yeah. Because you're doing what you think's right for the Aldecaldos. Even though it's hard. Even though you're shitting your pants. Dear God, so you can see it too. Because it's all for the family, right? Not that you want to kick Saul out. Take his place as the head of the clan. Not another word from you. All right. And you, why are you doing this? I know that I asked you for help myself. Why did you agree? Uh, trust issues, again? I thought we talked it all out. V, I know I can count on you. But... But... No one has ever done something like this for me before. Not without a catch. Oh, come on. Okay. Thank you, V. I'm serious. All right. Let's rejoin the others. Convoy. Got eyes and ears on it? Yes. Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. Everything is proceeding as planned. For now. Could still Sit your try. ass down a minute, honey, and breathe. Everything's under control. The convoy is already heading our way.
Bazaar. You're acting spooked. As if you're the first person ever to stand up to Saul. Ah, oh, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. Ugh. Was it someone I know? New. Scorpion. You came home from the war, head full of new ideas, and a host of new contacts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Gee, really consoling. Thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any. Saul was right about Snake Nation. You should remain independent. Otherwise, you could end up like... Like the backers. <laughs> we'll manage just fine on our own. All we need is a few good jobs. To get people talking about the Aldecaldos again. And that's why we're here today. Scorpion would be proud. Ought to raise a glass to Scorpion. To Scorpion. And to Jackie. about the war much what's there to say they just packed you into a panzer down in mexico and said full speed ahead soldier then it was weeks talking either to yourself or the onboard ai drinking iodide like water because your geiger wouldn't shut up mm -hmm. i'm sprouting a rash on my ass just thinking about sitting in that boiling hot coffin uh-huh but you all can't wait to pack your asses into the basilisk Huh? That's different. Completely different. You'll see once you're on board. I'm gonna try and get some sleep. Okay. It'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. Growing kind of cold out here. Not true. But this is nice. Catch some shut eye with me. I'll just lie here a while, by your side, gazing at the stars. Is that another area of your expertise? You got maps of the heavens in your library, too? Of course. That's the Big Dipper. And do you see the small flickering star to the right? Uh, yeah. You do? Oh, dear. That means there's a major leak. Good night, B. Okay, here they come. Is everyone ready? 
Let's ride, V. to speed. They're going faster than we thought. I don't know if we can catch them. Uncouple one of the cars. It'll speed you up. Wait, no coming and hauling. Take out that couple. I'll take care of this myself. Fuck! Pan Am! So it begins.
What's the meaning of this? Exactly what you see. The Basilisk. All I see is two trucks with giant Militech logos on them. Fuck, Pan Am! You can see them from miles away! You think we don't have problems enough on our hands? The Raffins could rear their heads at any moment. And now we have Militech to worry about, too. Stop it! Stop! Just shut up already! Do you want to serve corporations forever? Fine! Go right ahead! In that case, we'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. Well, you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. And the Basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. Bob, Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. We need to unload. Sure, but then what do we do with them? Oh, I've got an idea. from Okada-san. Very valuable. I also learned something through my own efforts. We must meet. Where will it be this time? Trash processing plant? Deserted end card station? In the south of Japan town, there is a street market. It is on the footbridge above the main street. Use the elevators. It is easy to get lost. I am on my way there. Do not make me wait.